Chasing the dragon is slang that comes from heroin addicts. Um, heroin addicts say that the first hit of heroin is the best hit of heroin. And they spend their entire addiction chasing that feeling again. And it's obvious what happens is that your body gets used to heroin and uh, you know it finds it harder and harder to get high again the same way it got high the first time. So that's called chasing the dragon. Now, um, something happened to me on YouTube and it's, it made me think a lot. A few days ago, I put up a post called Why SJW Art Fails. Now, you guys have been following me and you know that I'm posting every day, uh, you know, a little 10, 15, 20 minute video uh, about whatever random idiocy I'm thinking that day, right? That day I did a video on SJW Art and that video, uh, it didn't go viral per se, but it's gotten over 15,000 hits. I quite forgot how many in point of fact, but it got a lot, more than usual. And so, as I looked at that, I was like, oh, that's very good. That's very exciting. You know, a video is taking off. And I did another one. And that one, the no fap one, didn't do quite so well, but it did respectably. It did uh, something like uh, eight, 9,000 views. And then the one after that, the one on The Godfather, that one, that underperformed at this new level. It only got, uh, you know, 1,200, I think, or something like that. And so this little part of me, this little man inside my head, right? One of the many men who live inside my head. <laughs> this little man, let's call him assistant coach Red Pill. He started jumping up and down and saying, we have to do another, we have to do another, you know, and, and you know, trying to insist as it were and convince the rest of me that I had to do another video that would get as many hits, that I had to do whatever was necessary to do another video that would get the hits. I had to chase the dragon, right? Now, that little man is still inside my head and is still jumping up and down, you know, insisting that I do something that has either, you know, the initials SJW in the title or maybe art or comics or something, whatever it is, to repeat that feeling. Because when you have a little bit of success, it feels great. It feels terrific. And you want to have that high again. You want to chase the dragon. Okay? Now, a lot of guys get derailed by chasing the dragon. Of course, not in the sense of doing heroin, in the sense of trying to recapture that feeling of utter success that's happening when you, um, when you get that little pop, right? And guys do all kinds of crazy shit. To recapture that, a lot of times, they change directions entirely in order to chase that dragon, to keep on getting those hits, those views, that success. They forget about why they were doing something to begin with. Sometimes it doesn't matter. I mean, there are some sites that I know, skeptic sites, uh, you know, the names that started off as comedy channels, as it were. And then, you know, they made fun of some SJW and they realized, oh, look at that. If we hit on SJWs and make fun of them, we get a lot of hits. So they kept on doing that, chasing that particular dragon, right? And, and clobbering on SJWs all the time. You know, look at these SJWs, aren't they stupid? Look what they do here, look what do they do there. And just like making fun of them all the time and forgetting what they were about, forgetting that they were just a comedy channel, for instance. Yeah. And they became a quote unquote skeptic channel and they weren't really skeptics. They don't have any intellectual backing as it were. They were just, you know, a comedy channel chasing views chasing the dragon. That's fine for, you know, some channels or some people. And this is applied to life, of course, to everything. But you see, when you want real success, when you want to actually achieve something, not just be popular, not just, you know, uh, have, a, have, a, have a nice, you know, passage through life, as it were. When you want to actually achieve something, a goal, when you have a vision in your mind, you're going to have these periodic pops, these little, you know, brushes with success, you know, like I did with that video, with the SJW art video, right? But you see, you have to keep on your path and enjoy that little pop of success, but keep on going. Don't deviate to chase the dragon. Stay on your path because this is what happens. If you stay on your path, the dragon circles around, and comes back for you. See, you don't have to go chasing the dragon. See, I know what's gonna happen in my channel. I know, it's clear as day. 
I'm going to keep on doing the videos that I'm doing. And maybe next week, maybe next month, who knows when and who knows what topic it'll be, but another one of my little videos will pop. It'll get, you know, 20,000 hits. Yay me! And it'll be fun and it'll be a rush, a rush of success, of course, because every time you have like a, a little bit of success on, on YouTube, and that's why it's so addictive, you're like, oh man, I want to get that feeling again. That feels so good. It's a rush. That rush of knowing that you're doing something, you're saying some words into a camera, and people are responding to them and they're liking them. You know, that, that feeling is, is wonderful. Why would I lie? It's absolutely wonderful. But you see, you can't deviate for your path for the sake of feeling good. That's just what heroin addicts do. They disregard their lives for the sake of doing another hit, another hit of smack, you know, chasing that dragon. And what happens to heroin addicts? They end in misery. The same with you. The same with you when you are chasing the dragon in your career, in your job, whatever it is your business, you're going to have these little pops of sudden success and they're going to feel great. Don't deviate from what you're doing for the sake of chasing after that high. It's incredibly tempting. Okay. But don't. Now, do keep in mind, this doesn't mean that you shouldn't adjust. For instance, you're doing a business and you're manufacturing, you know, little widget A. And you happen to do, for whatever reason, some client orders you to manufacture widget B. And you sell it to your client and all of a sudden you have 50 other clients who want widget B. Well, that's different. See? Then you start manufacturing widget B. But you see, you're not deviating from what you're doing. You're a manufacturer. You build things, right? You build widgets. And you were trying out widget A and you tried out widget B because of this client and it's a big hit. Hey, that's great. Keep on man making widget B. and Start making widget C, widget D, widget E, okay? Don't fall into the trap of chasing a market. Do what you're doing. The market comes to you. Everybody talks about Steve Jobs. Everybody says that he was a great entrepreneur and he knows the secret. See, people don't know what they want. See, you have to tell them what they want. Don't react to your market. Don't chase the dragon because that dragon is elusive. The market is elusive. If you go chasing the market, it's going to slip away. Do like Steve Jobs does. Stick to what you are doing, what you know, what you like, and make them come to you. Like I said, in a week's time, I'm going to have another video popping. A week or maybe two weeks or a month. It doesn't matter when. It'll happen and they will come back. Do like that. On your path, don't fucking chase the dragon because are you a junkie or a man?